Hi, hello and welcome to all. Hi, hi. What is the today's topic? In this video, I am just going to say some interesting biological facts about love. What is the thing that you are going to say about love in a biological manner at all? I just ask you one question. From which part of your body you feel that love? What is this silly question? Even a small kid will know that the love is a beautiful feel that comes from our heart. I thought already that you will say this answer only. But it is absolutely wrong. The love is, is which you feel is segregating from your brain, not from your heart. Okay. Hey, what are you saying? Yes, love is a thing which is segregating in your mind with the help of certain glands in the brain. What is that gland? I don't understand anything. Okay, just be calm and just listen to the things that, that I'm going to say now. Okay. First of all, when you will fall in love with the person as soon as you see or you will take few weeks to fall in love with a certain pe person. So, for that, uh, the thing which you are falling in love takes nearly more than 4 to 5 days to fall in love with a girl or a boy. So, the thing which you feel in your heart, you are saying that heart, but it is not in heart. It is just the thing which you feel from the brain. The dopamine is a gland which will segregate in your brain at first when you see a person, the person who attracts you. You will feel certain uh, insecurity than another person which you see and you will feel that person is uh, somewhat special to you too. And when this dopamine increases, the simultaneously one another gland will decrease in your mind. That is serotonin. When dopamine increases, that serotonin will decrease. If dopamine reaches to the highest level in your brain, then you will feel the infatuation in your brain. You you, you will uh, you will fall in love for a another girl or a boy, or you will feel certain insecurity in your brain not from the heart okay i'm saying another time not from your heart you will feel that insecurity the love feel and you will say that she is my crush she is my crush all these things are happening because of this dopamine the level of increasing hope dopamine just creating those things in your body and if this increase if this thing decreases the serotonin decreases a lot then you will feel aversion in your mind and i have one question if we start loving one person newly then we will feel one excitement from our heart then what about that feel which we uh, realize or which we feel in the beginning stage of love a same like this uh, dopamine and serotonin your body will also segregate another certain thing named as uh, now growth factor you can shortly name it as name say it as uh, ngf this will create a new feel in your brain if you have fallen for a love for a first time or a, with a new person with another time also if you fall with an, love with our new person for a first time then you will feel like uh, i just want to see her i want to talk with her a lot if you you won't see her just for a day but you will feel like it like a year one year or two year so all these things you are missing you will say that i miss you baby i miss you darling lot and lot that missing that love that uh, conversation all the things happens in the beginning stage of love just because of this uh, nerve growth factor which is segregating in your mind if this nerve growth factor increases day by day then all these things will happen but most in most of the love you can see that the couple will talk for more and more hours in a day in the starting of the love in the beginning period of love and after a few months or a few weeks some of the couple in few weeks itself they will they won't talk to each other as much they spoke in the beginning period of the love so uh, day by day uh, it will start if I, in the new beginning period of time it will increase day by day and after a few months and week it will start decreasing. This NGF, this uh, nerve growth factor will start decreasing in your mind and that is the reason why you are not talking to your partner as you spoke in the beginning stage of love. Then what is the reason behind the romance between the couples and the feel which we want to converse with the couple? with our loved one yeah i said now that's nerve growth factors uh, one of the reasons for the 
um, thing which you had do in the beginning stage of love and this is one of the most important thing for the romantic relationship too if this uh, ngf increases day by day your romantic relationship will also increase in the starting you will just hold her hands you will uh, always see her eyes uh, or uh, you will go for a long walk by bed all these romantic things happens because of this nerve growth factor only and also the one most important thing is the communication in the relationship and first itself i said this will happen only when this nerve growth factor is in the high level and you cannot see this nerve growth factor in a high level in the in the person who don't love others the singles in singles mind you won't see this no growth factor in a high level and you cannot see and also the person who are in the long term relationship after many years you cannot see this no, no growth factor in a brain in a high level only in the beginning stage of love only we can see this no growth factor in a high level in your brain for a few people a few couple only you can see this no growth factor for a long period 2 this no growth factor will segregate for them for a long a period even after 10 to 15 years for example i said that those couples will speak only for a i mean i said that a new newly married couples or a, a person who went into a relationship for a first time in a new manner he will talk to her for a long period of time and after a few weeks they will they won't talk as much they stopped before i said like that those people who are in a long term relationship and those people who have this ngf for a longer period of time will converse as same as in the beginning uh, if they spoke for a uh, nearly 10 hours a day or a uh, 5 hours a day means uh, after 10 years also they will speak like that only they will spend that time as much they can with the partner then what are all the glands that we need for a long term relationship for a long term relationship you need oxytocin and uh, vasopressin which which you need for a long these are the two things which you need for a long term relationship and these two things are uh, um, segregated in the and uh, are created with the help of a uh, hypothalamic gland which is in your brain and this uh, creates a connection between you and your partner and it will make you more closer for a longer period of time and it will also give you certain commitments like a boy will say that if a boy need a need her girlfriend for a whole lifetime then what he will do he will he will just plan for a whole life just like that i just want to marry her i just want to keep her happy as her parents kept her like that more and more things will go in the boy's mind these are all the commitments which will which you can see in the boy's side and the girl said you can see that i should be always with him i should be with him in you know both uh, his happy situation and the sad situation i should be always with him i should always support him like those commitments you can see in the girl's side all these commitments are segregated in their mind because of this oxytocin and vasopressin which is segregating in their mind these two things are the most important thing for a long term relationship a strong and a bonded long term relationship and all these things are just stored in that penile gland sorry pituitary gland i said that all these more and more glands were segregating in your mind in your brain when you love a person so because of this new creation in your brain because uh, you won't see all these things before loving your per a person but after loving a person you can see more and more changes in your behavior and because all that behaviors are just because of your brain so it will affect certain things or in your character too like uh, the judging of people you may judge a people in another manner before you love a person and after you love a person you will judge another person in another manner like if a girl loves a boy more and more boys means first um, before you are entering into a relationship she, you will see her in a different manner and after you enter a relationship you will see her your vision of seeing her will be in a different manner it is one of the biggest fact in the relationship i mean after your relationship after you come into a relationship or get into a relationship
and the another thing which you can see in your uh, character is and in your life is there won't be any stress in your body and you won't feel any fearness in your life too the fear and your stress level will decrease if you fall in love because all these glands which you are segregating in your brain will decrease these things and also all these things are happening in your mind just to uh, unite your partner with you just to keep your partner for a long term with you this is a fact these are all the biological facts about the love oh my god if these reasons are true yes i think you all like this video thanks for watching this video stay tuned for the next video until then bye